All right, people, what's up? So today we have with us Pranav. Now, Pranav is part of the Gamer to Maker Origins batch. He's one of the first guys. And now he's at a stage where he's on the job hunt. He's looking for jobs, etc. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be giving him feedback and I'm going to be analyzing his portfolio website as well as his resume. So Pranav is a programmer and he's actually submitted his resume and his portfolio to me. And this is something I do for the Spartans in the Game of Maker course uh, as part of the, of the mentoring. So let's have a look. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at, uh, I'm going to look have a look at the portfolio. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So firstly, um, and this is like a pretty common mistake that a lot of people make is that um, this is more a portfolio which is for people who want to play games. This portfolio now, you have to change your approach. You have you are not selling games to people. You are not selling games to people. You are selling yourself as a game maker, as a game programmer. Okay. Uh, first thing I would say is to kind of make the uh, the color combination a little bit more professional. This is kind of very bright. And so instead of writing Victor E Games, you can write your own name, Pranav Deshmukh, gameplay programmer, right? People at game companies, see, as a game developer, you have a different persona. So your persona is like, you want to be this cool game developer because you want people to download your games. But however, to be uh, to be a uh, employee of a game company, you have to dial down the cool a little bit and you have to be more of, you're an employee. Okay. So I would recommend putting your name, uh, Pranav Deshmukh, gay programmer, right? Um, and uh, otherwise, this stuff here is the stuff you put is fine. Okay. Um, so, first thing I would say is that instead of uh, putting LinkedIn, Pranav, YouTube, put little icons, right? Yeah. Don't in like text is okay, but you can put little icons where people can click and kind of make the colors a little bit more subtle, like red okay. and green and black. These are nice. Like I said, these are cool from the from your gamer and game developer uh, persona, but from my employee persona, it needs to be a little bit more sober. Okay. Also okay. helps to have a picture of you somewhere. Okay. It doesn't have to be a mug shot of you like standing like this, a passport size photo. But doing something cool, like hanging out with your dog, or if you have, if you have a dog, or like you know what I mean, like a cool pic of you yeah. just hanging out. Okay, yeah. I'll give you some references uh, that you can look at. The Actually, like thing, this is each uh, each poor profile, so that's why like I kept it as as like as minimum as possible. So that's fine. Okay, next thing you have to do is that you have to put your games. Don't kind of put them all together. See, what practically happens is that when recruiters look at your game, they, they want to get as much information from this page as possible without clicking on links. So, for example, you have a game here called uh, Dvithyam, Interdimensional Time Traveling Top-Down Casual Puzzle Game. Now, for a recruiter, the recruiter is not really interested in how in the game. They're interested in what have you done in the game. Right. Yeah. Right. So, like, I'll I'll show you. Uh, let me show you another. Um, so, can you see this? Can you see my screen? Yep. Uh, this is one which I've actually highlighted. Uh, I've highlighted this project. Uh, on on one of the videos I made on YouTube. So this uh, is. I think I've saw this. Yeah. Yeah. I so this is called. So this is Cozy Grove Unity C Sharp. Right. So you just have to say what it was in this. And what you worked on, right? She oh. also has a she also has a uh, distinction between professional project and fun sign projects. Okay, so these are her side projects, right? That she has made on her own, and this is uh, her professional projects. So right now you don't have that distinction. Mm -hmm. You can only have one page. But remember, they are interested in what you did in the game. Right. So can you see clothing? Cust so on this particular project, what she did was 
clothing customization build on top of spine so specifically input system allow it that dynamically switching between blah blah localization into 15 locals in addition i contribute to general gameplay optimization and polish and then see if you want people to play the game you have to have a trailer right like, nobody's gonna like click on it and download it and play just on the basis of a little screenshot so if you want to have you need to have create a youtube channel put some of your games put a simple 30 to 60 minute maybe 30 minute a 30 second trailer of your game showing the gameplay okay and some screenshots as well right mm -hmm. and very nicely saying what language you use um once again uh here this is this is her her game what languages has used a little bit about the game and also here um uh, talking about what she did gameplay engine tools similarly um ai programmer ai programmer so she was an ai programming here here you have a trailer here you have this you know what i mean so so kind of that's it you know yeah. this is what you need to show in your portfolio and you need to show what work you have done in your portfolio that's more important than anything else okay yeah. so you need to kind of i would even recommend you can even go and you can even make a separate website. Mm -hmm. If h.io is not giving you this kind of functionality, you can yeah, even actually, go. Yeah. It right? has the like page. Uh, they have like page for different games. So like if you click on it, you see another page for the game. So like it's, it's there, but it's kind of complicated. So like different pages for each game. So that way. Right. And like I have put in those like trailers or gameplay more like, and screenshots, but then like the one seeing has to like click on every game and then check it out. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like complicated. Yeah, uh, each IO it could be complicated. So I would mm -hmm. I would even say because see your portfolio is something which is an investment. Okay. If you are in the game industry, making a portfolio is like an investment for somebody else building a house. Mm -hmm. Right. It's something that mm -hmm. is going to serve you for the next ten years. Still, you are at some point you'll be so senior. That people will reach out to you on LinkedIn and say, hey man, like, so that, till you reach that stage, your portfolio is your best tool of growth. So I would say, move on from itch.io, move on to another website. It'll give you more, uh, it'll give you much more freedom to make websites and choose your kind of functionality. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. itch.io is fine, but it's probably best to move on from there. Mm -hmm. yeah okay um also mm -hmm. as your career grows build it in, build your website in such a build your portfolio in such a way that you can actually grow it right right now as you're having your side projects right as you're having your side projects put them in a separate tab right if you have some mm -hmm. code if you have a, a github repository of your code or something put that in a separate tab okay yeah. um it's like don't think that is going to be done overnight Okay, it's something that you will be working on for the last, for the next five to 10 years. So th have that mindset that you're going to be building upon it as your career grows. Okay, right. it needs to be more professional looking. Okay, and whenever you build it, send it to me. I'll check it out. I'll give you feedback on it. Sure. Okay, cool. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share uh, your resume. Okay, okay. So I like, I really like the clean format. Okay, the clean format is, is great. Remember one thing, uh, the nice thing I like is that all your, all your, all your uh, links. links are links. clickable. Yeah. All right, that's really great. That's a common mistake. People make links and like people are not going to like go look at it and type it into a browser. It has to be clickable. Yeah, right. So that's very, very important. That's a good thing you should have done. Okay, um, personal summary. You don't need to write personal summary. Okay. Yeah. Like right, directly right. put in the content. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you don't need to write uh, the heading of personal summary, right? So here you say game programmer and game uh, designer with, with uh, one plus years experience in making game unity game engine experience in making uh, gameplay mechanics, UI 2d as well as 3d. Uh, this is, this is really good, but give it a little bit of uh, it looks like one paragraph separate this into bullet points okay yeah. mm -hmm. okay separate this uh into bullet points and and uh, here i would say don't say game programmer and designer 
say game programmer if you want okay. to be mm-hmm. uh if you want to be somewhere on top you have to write who you are prarv des prarv deshmukh game programmer yeah right this is who you are this is some people say uh uh hoping for role no be like mm-hmm. i am a gameplay programmer right prarv okay. deshmukh game pro, game play programmer right and then you say game play programmer with and um you know game play uh, programmer with one plus years experience uh yeah you can kind of keep that okay if we just okay. separate this into different right. into different uh, bullet points okay um for professional experience there's a bit of gap here between the professional ah, yeah. experience and this right mm-hmm. so just just fix that formatting yeah. a little bit okay yeah. then uh, education uh this is good this is fine you should definitely totally also put the gamer to make a course Mm-hmm. like i have put in the project arise but then uh, i did not exactly know like what to put in like yeah uh, basically just put this gamer yeah. to make a design and production course yeah. right ongoing sure. whatever like you're doing that course you can totally mm-hmm. uh you can totally put that in right now okay you can put a link to the website etc as well okay um education this is good so i would say put your education you can put your education um uh, at the end and put your projects next right okay so projects uh, in the middle and then education yes professional experience yeah. projects right see like what you have written here contributed design the game features design prototype various character mechanics this is the stuff you should be putting in the uh portfolio in the portfolio this stuff yeah. is really important like what you have done in the game is more important than the game itself i mean people who are looking for a job are kind of okay they look okay approx right what genre and platform right say right. genre and platform of genre and platform uh name genre and platform and what you did like don't like you can have a very very don't write about the game what happens in the game etc mm-hmm. right this is this is actually good top down uh, rogue like action game with the ability to arise dead enemies or oh, you don't even have to write that yeah. top top down rogue like action game that's it okay and then what you did over there and i think your world builder is actually one of your top personal projects so uh-huh. you should that uh-huh. should be first like i was quite impressed when i saw that game i was like wow he made a world builder so that should be uh that should be headlining yeah. okay spend I actually put effort. arise at the top since like uh, this is not uh, here is not here in your project. portfolio not in your okay. in your yeah. portfolio i mean because right. arise is not ready yet <laughs> when it comes to games which are ready already done that should be your top game right okay um that's it i guess otherwise i think um you're good to go yeah okay, okay. so like uh, like should uh, ongoing projects be included in the resume or like they should one second yeah go ahead uh, like the ongoing projects like should they be included in the resume or like they typically should not be since like no, no, nothing to show for it um on in the resume don't put it okay all right don't put it in the resume because you should have something to show mm-hmm. yeah, right. okay uh put if you are doing education that's fine ongoing okay. education is okay don't put ongoing projects put completed projects right okay yeah. um unless you have a demo or a trailer to show mm-hmm. yeah like ah uh, yeah if it's at a so like my you right now is that to say okay so this is we have a trailer we have some gameplay if it's just kind of at the prototype stage people are saying like okay so where's your game show us your game you like, no no it's not ready yet right so it depends it's ongoing project is fine but depends on what stage your ongoing project is if if they can get impressed and show them why not yeah, right okay what else any other questions uh then uh, i have uh, like i have done some certifications like online and also the gamer to make us so like should they be included under certifications and like What? yeah 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 totally yeah. put those in if you see it shows your interest in learning right right it shows your interest in learning in small detail like, you know mm-hmm. game to make a design production course ongoing did this certification did this online course so it shows that you have interest in learning things um exploring new horizons so put that stuff in for sure awesome man
Um, so take care. And when you update it, send it to me.